Amadil Kumar sharing with you a challenge question which has been posted by my subscriber and I hope most of you will find it very interesting. So the question here is find the area of shaded region. So I thought I'll complete the diagram so that you understand uh, what we are really trying to do. So this is the region for which we have to find the area, right? So this is the region which is shown here in the shaded form, correct? Now, let me label all this. So we have a rectangle, say A, B, C, D, with midpoints. These are the midpoints, let's say P and Q, okay? I mean to say these are the midpoints, correct? And uh, we're talking about a rectangle within which we have a triangle as shown, right? Now you need to find area of this triangle APQ. So the question here is, find area of triangle APQ, okay? And as you can see, P and Q are midpoints. PQ are midpoints. Perfect. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So in general, let's say uh, the side lengths are X and Y. So we'll put this length as X and this as Y. Is it okay? So we're just taking uh, dimensions X and Y for our rectangle so that we can work with some, some variable values and get to the result. I hope now the question is absolutely clear. You can pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Well, the strategy here is to find the area of triangle will take away area of these small triangles from rectangle. So let's call these small triangles as A1, A2 and A3, right? Now, what is the triangle of, uh, what is the area of rectangle? Okay, it's base into height, correct? So let's write down area of A, B, C, D, which is a rectangle, right? Is clearly X times Y. No doubt about it, correct? So that is the total area from where we are going to subtract area of these three triangles. So let's consider them one by one. So what is the area of triangle A1? A1, this triangle. Area of the triangle formula is half base times height. So in this case, it will be half. And what is base? How much is this? This is half of y, right? This is half of y. Is it okay? So base is half y. So base is half of y. And what is the height? Height is x for us. Okay, so that becomes the area of triangle 1, I could write this as 1 fourth of xy. Perfect. What is the area of triangle A2? This triangle. Again, half. Base. Base is how much? This is my base. Half y, right? Half y times this is half x. Correct? Total is x, half of it. So half times x. That gives us um, how much? 1 over 8xy. Now let's consider the triangle A3. In this triangle, base is y and height is half of x. So the area is half times y times half of x. That gives us 1 fourth of xy. Perfect. Now to find the area of APQ triangle, let's write down triangle a, P, Q. It should be area of rectangle, right? Area of rectangle, A, B, C, D. Take away A1, A2, A3, right? So take away area of triangles, uh, A1, a2 and A3. Correct? This is what it is. So let's rewrite. Area of rectangle as we know is XY. Perfect. This is what? Minus. We'll add all these. So we'll add these things. 
minus one fourth of x y plus one eighth of x y plus one fourth of x y. Okay, so it means x y minus how much? So all this you can take eight as your common denominator, right? So eight is your common denominator. Let's say eight. Then you get two x y plus x y plus two x y. So that gives you x y minus two three four five five x y over eight. So it is eight x y minus five x y over eight, and that gives you three x y over eight. Do you see that? So that is the area. So our answer is area of triangle APQ is equal to 3 8 of that of the rectangle x y perfect so that is how you could actually solve such a question so take away the area of small triangles from the big rectangle to get the result i hope it makes sense